So I, I spent a bit of time, um, not a lot, but a bit of time inside a maximum security prison when I was a kid. I worked with a very strange psychologist that was there. And one of the things that really shocked me, and I, I think this shocked me enough to change my whole life, was I, I met these... I met this one prisoner who was a pretty nondescript looking character. He took me for a walk out in the yard away from a gym full of like weightlifting axe murderer monsters and rapists. And we went for a walk out in the yard and the psychologist called us back and told me later in the office that this guy who was about 5'2", pretty non-prepossessing guy, had uh, made two policemen kneel in front of him, beg for their lives, in reference to their families and then shot them both in the back of the head and and kicked them aside. And the shocking thing to me was, you know, you, you kind of think that if you met pure evil, it would, it would have a monstrous form. And, you know, the thing that shocked me about that was the nondescript nature of this guy. You know, his, his absolutely banal ordinariness, the fact that you could just walk past him on the street and you'd never know. He wasn't some monster, you know, the monstrous character of Satan in your imagination is, you know, a figure that's terrifying to behold instead of someone normal, you know what I mean, normal in that cringing sense. These people that you've interacted with, like what's your what's your reaction to them when you talk to them, the pedophiles, when you talk to them and when you arrest them? My experience is very similar to what you just described, very nondescript, people of all walks of life. We've, we've, we've arrested and I've interrogated um, educators, uh, lawyers, law enforcement, clergymen, um, and, and uh, sitting across from them, there's, but with no apparent physicality that would tell you who they are. But I will say this, when they start talking and I look into their eyes, that's when I can I sense something that that it, that's really scares the hell out of me, um, and the way they talk about children when they get there and it's it's something that they've been able to normalize, and they're speaking to me about children almost like they're talking about you know a, 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 the weather or you know talking about buying and selling children like you talk about buying and selling computer parts or, or an automobile or something, and that's where I thought you. Something has taken over you. Something non-human has made you less human. Um, and I've never been able to figure it out. As a man in today's world, you can work incredibly hard. You can make sacrifices and you can discipline yourself and still never amount to much. My name is Hamza Ahmed and I'm on a mission to help young men around the world to achieve success in all areas of life from self-improvement to building a business that makes you feel powerful. And through Adonis School, I'm gonna help you make your first $10,000 for yourself using the same step-by-step -step system that I've used to make hundreds of thousands.